An SPI timing diagram shows how data, clock, and chip select interact over time. Reading it correctly is essential for debugging SPI issues. Key signals in the diagram. CS, chip select, defines when communication is active. SCLK, clock, controls timing of data transfer. MOSI, MISO, carry data bits. How to read the diagram. 1. CS goes active, communication starts. 2. Clock begins toggling. Data transfer happens only while clock is running. 3. Data changes on one clock edge. 4. Data is sampled on the opposite clock edge. 5. CS goes inactive, communication ends. Important things to verify. Clock idle level matches CPO. Sampling edge matches CPHA. Data is stable before sampling. CS stays active for the entire frame. Correct number of clock pulses per frame, 8, 16, etc. Common debugging clues. Data shifted by one bit. CPHA issue. Random data. Wrong sampling edge or speed too high. No response, CS timing or polarity issue. Practical tip. Always compare the datasheet timing diagram with your logic analyzer capture. If they don't visually match, SPI will not work.